Hello, Transpider. This is Dr. Claw, and I'll be talking about voice therapy today. Okay. It's really not Dr. Claw. Imagine that. Um, but I am talking about voice therapy today because I'm really far behind, um, like over a month behind on, on videos. Um, so I'm way back on voice therapy. Um, and I, I thought it would be a good time to go over it a little bit. Um, I've been doing voice therapy for a year and a half, and I still slip back to my old voice, um, or at least kind of close to my old voice. Um, to give you an idea of what my old voice sounded like, well, here it is. Um, this was my old voice, right about here. And... I would always talk like this, and that was after transition, I still talked like this. Um, and I would obviously out myself in public when I was talking. So, I took the voice therapy. And the voice therapy seems to have helped quite a bit, um, raising my pitch, and, um, you know, adjusting some of my vocal patterns a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure. I had a lot of um, sort of typical feminine patterns beforehand, um, but I, I certainly wasn't misgendered because of it, um, at least not very often. Uh, so, um, in voice therapy, we learned things about pitch, so we, we learned like how to do vocal glides. I'll try to do a vocal glide. I'll probably suck at it, but here it goes. Uh... Now, I probably spent way too long at the bottom and not enough time at the top, and it probably wasn't terribly smooth, but that's what a vocal glide is. Um... <laughs> So, yeah, so I've done vocal glides, um, and then we, we, we learned about, vocal glides are about pitch, um, and then there's, there's resonance. Now, resonance is like, um, sort of how open it is when you speak, so I, I really, sometimes, you know, I'm pretty far back when I, when I do my resonance, it, it's like, uh, whether or not you might pick up on it, I don't know. But to practice that, we, we would do two different things. Um, one of those was lip trills. And lip trills are like like blowing bubbles in the water. Um, I did this with my kids in, in um, swim lessons. So it would be like... blowing bubbles in the water, basically. Um, and then the other thing that they did for residents, they would do, um, they would do this. They would go, e, ah, uh, e, ah, uh, e, ah, uh, e, ah. Uh, because the e is very forward and the ah uh, is very back. And so if you can find this place where you're at least somewhat forward, um, your voice will sound a lot more open and it will sound a lot more feminine. Um, now, I have no idea if I sound feminine. I think pretty much, I don't think I sound really great, um, but they tell me I sound good, so I don't know. <laughs> I have a lot of people that tell me I sound good, but I guess they're cheerleaders, so um, I've had some people tell me, no, I sound like shit, so... There it is. Um, I, let me see, what else? Uh, I really liked my voice therapy only because, well, I mean, I like the people I'm working with. The, the students are great. Um, the full-time professors that work with the students have been great. Um, end up being, you know, kind of friends with, with everyone. And, um, it's been, that, that's been really nice. Um, so that part of it was great. But the other thing that was really good about it is it forced me to practice my voice. 
uh, even if I didn't want to. So I would have to go to the, you know, because otherwise I'm, I'm just skipping appointments and that would be wrong. I don't skip appointments. So, so I would go and then, you know, I would work on my voice for an hour twice a week. Um, yeah, so I really, I really liked voice therapy from that, that standpoint. It, it gave me the tools um, to look at my voice. Um, it gave me the tools to, to like actually bring up the voice on the computer. So we would do recordings and then we would look at the vocal patterns that I'm using and um, see what my pitch average is. Um, you know, be able to do all that stuff. But then I would also have live interaction with somebody who actually kind of knows what they're talking about. Um, you know, I, I'm working with grad students, but the grad students are overseen by a full, full-time faculty member. Um, so that's been really good. And I, I would highly recommend voice therapy for, for anyone who's really trying to change their voice. Um, and my only caution about like the, the various programs that are out there for trans people to help you change your voice um, or just giving you advice on how to do it is um, be careful because you can actually strain your vocal cords and you can damage them. Um, so be aware, be aware of uh, what you're doing. Um, make sure you drink lots of water if you're really pushing your vocal cords. Um, make sure if it hurts that you just stop. Give them time to recover. Um, and you know, have fun with it because, you know, we don't want to sound like Dr. Claw when we're out in public. And um, lots of work will, will get you good results. And then you don't have to deal with the, the problems of being misgendered when you're out. Um, so anyway, have a great week. Um, sorry it took me so long to get to the video. And we'll see if I can get caught up on any more. But... Probably not. Alright, um, bye.